Well, so far, you know, uh, obviously uh, today is we're doing a press conference, and then uh, right now we probably have about 10 uh, schools listed right here. Uh, St. James, San Amal, East Ascension High School, West St. John, and Covington are the ones on board right now that are going to be at today's press conference. Uh, the other four schools here, uh, McDonald 35, Westgate High School, uh, which was actually the first school to register here in the state, and uh, Lutcher and Terrebonne are all on board right now, making uh, the field of uh, 10 before we actually start uh, the registration process. Um, you know, we're going to take the first 32 uh, schools that uh, that go online and register. And uh, after today, it, it, you know, I think it's going. It's a, it's a huge event. It's a great opportunity for kids. It's a great opportunity for our coaches in the state of Louisiana. Uh, to coach their teams and uh, have a culminating event uh, per se for the off season uh, gives them another opportunity in, in the game of football to compete for a state championship uh, and not to mention you know being partnered with Adidas and the amount of gear that uh, that they're providing for our athletes uh, each kid's gonna you know walk away with seventy dollars worth of uh, Adidas gear and um, they're gonna make an all tournament team uh, MVPs will be named from uh, the tournament. Uh, those guys will receive a nice uh, Adidas package, retail value of $300. So, uh, it, you know, it's a great event. Now, uh, we, we're getting a lot of positive feedback from the coaches around the state. Um, you know, uh, Westgate was the first one to, uh, to register. And since Westgate, uh, Westgate has registered, it's been, you know, like wildfire. There's this added dynamic uh, once this one goes down of having schools from uh, around the region have a chance to represent uh, their states. What are your thoughts on just Louisiana kids and getting a chance to showcase themselves first here and then in, in a regional dynamic and, and what some of the guys here might be able to show folks? Well, for, from a coach's standpoint, you know, uh, you always think your product is the best. You know, uh, I know per capita, Louisiana high school football is, is of high quality and it's probably, um, and I'm, I'm a little biased here, but I think our football is the best uh, that our country has to offer uh, when you look at the amount of kids that we put in the NFL and in Division I major college football on a yearly basis. Uh, it's a great opportunity uh, for our kids to actually go against uh, the kids from Florida and the kids from Georgia. Uh, like I said, the top four finishers of this uh, tournament is going to advance into a regional tournament uh, where they're going to play the top four uh, finishers from Florida and Georgia uh, in in uh, in Florida at Tallahassee, and uh, so I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, I, I love our chances, and uh, I can't wait to see how it unfolds because uh, we're getting a lot of great feedback uh, from a lot of the coaches, and uh, I think they they welcome the opportunity to number one coach their kids uh, throughout the off season and not have any kids missing for you know traveling with uh, other seven on seven teams and, and and of that nature. So uh, uh, I think it's a it's long time overdue. I think our state needed something like this. And, uh, you know, when you look at the success that's, that Texas has had, um, there's no doubt in my mind that Louisiana is, uh, is the next one to explode. And, and uh, I think our kids are going to really enjoy uh, the opportunity that Arrow is providing for them.